Hello, welcome back for another tip using Autodesk Showcase. My name is Craig Basher, and today I'm going to show you how to create behaviors in Showcase. Th there are three main behaviors: there's turntable, keyframe, and then importing from an FBX file. FBX file is a, a way to tr transfer one data from one software to the next software. So let's jump over to uh, Showcase and start looking at how we can do that. Now you can go to the, the actual pull down menus to find behaviors or you can hit B. But really I want to go up here to the story, uh, actual story menu here and you actually use that. So behaviors, now under the create I have turntable, keyframe animation and the import from FBX. So let's start off with turntable and work with uh, that. Now I could give this animation a name. So go ahead and type out a name here. Now you want to think about how you want your animation to run. So if I just want the actual uh, shaver itself to spin, then I would use the grips here to change the X, Y, and Z values, or the X and Y value. Now I w if I want to do a different type of spinning, I could go to a rotisserie, and where I could just leave it at turntable. Here I have the ability to start where I want that animation to start, or the degree I want the animation to start. And I could also put in, you know, revolutions per minute. So I, I change that revolutions per minute to like 10. And I can do also like a, an oscillation or a fan oscillating back and forth. And you can choose where you want that to start and end. I went ahead and selected the geometry I wanted to add to this animation by selecting the shaver and then removing the actual the, the, the holder. So let's go ahead and create some back and forth motion here. I'm going to say start at zero. Uh, let's start at, let's end it at 180 degrees here. And then I could turn on my playback controls and maybe hide some other geometry that I don't want. Maybe I don't want to see that actual uh, cover. So let me turn this off and go ahead and hide this cover, the base here. So wrong spot, there we go, hide. Now I can hit play, and it will actually do that like I'm oscillating a fan. Now you could go back and change this, just right click on the actual uh, animation here and go down to the properties and actually make a change. So let's say I don't want to do that, maybe I just want it to spin around and around and around and around. So I'll just turn off that one option and hit play. You'll see that it now will spin. Now we could always link these animations to storyboards if need be. So let me here, let me stop this. Let me go back to the beginning here. And let's show let's show the actual um rotisserie effect. Let's show that effect. So I change it over to the rotisserie uh option and then I'll just hit the playback controls and we'll see what happens here. Well kinda ugly but you can see how you could use that in a different location. Let's start over. Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's look at a keyframe animation. So we want to go back up to the top here and actually uh, use the create button. So I'm going to zoom into my little switch here because I want to use that for my turntable animation. So I want to add that geometry to my turntable animation and then I want to add a keyframe and it's going to automatically add it at like one second. So what I could do is I could choose to keep one second or I can drag the keyframe to a time that I like better. Let's say three seconds or four seconds, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to use my handles, those come up automatically if you hit H. And then I'm going to hit keyframe again and it will create that keyframe where I want it. So I can actually move these around of how I want these to be played. And so now I have that up and down motion or that keyframe animation. And you can add multiple keyframes here. I just did two to kind of show the up and down. Maybe I wanted to go in a different direction. Maybe I want to go in the Z direction. I could do that as well. And that way you can create multiple uh, animations in the keyframe environment. Lastly, let's talk about FBX. The first thing you have to do is you have to, you know, output this data. So, where would I use FBX? Well, if you think about the razors themselves, the razor blades and the shaver, they spin at an angle. 
And that, so I can't use the turntable or I can't use a rotisserie because I can't actually change the angle of the pivot. So what I want to do is I want to export as an FBX. Now I could go ahead and export like this and it would include hidden objects but I may get objects that I don't want either. So let me go ahead and actually turn on the geometry that I want to export and make sure that I'm only getting the geometry that I want. So maybe I don't want cameras or something like that. So go ahead and export it out, put it in a location. Um, I already have one called, you know, from Showcase, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Now let's jump over to Showcase and really use that data here. So here I'm just going to go to the application menu and say import and go to the FBX file that I just created and it's going to give me some import options. So I'm going to change mine over to media and entertainment and make sure that my uh, animation doesn't come over from the turntable. I'm also going to look at some other options. I don't really need cameras. I can make cameras with inside of Max. Now you'll see that those some of those objects are on the screen or were not in showcase and they're called helpers. So I'm going to turn those off. And so some other things I want to turn off is like the other geometry because they're not going to be affected by the actual animation. I'll remove the cover. I'll remove some of the guards here. Uh, and I, I notice that it's kind of dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use Max's materials and go ahead and change that. And that means that I can actually transfer those Max materials over to the actual showcase product. So I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm just going to drag this and drop it on here. All right, so now I'm going to hide some other geometry. Um, I'm going to hide the two of the three razors and actually work on one razor at a time here. And what I want to do is I want to create a linkage between all these parts and create kind of a hierarchy so that when I spin one, all of that geometry spins together. So to do that, I'm just going to kind of line this up and actually grab the top little razors here and then I'm going to use my link button up here and link it to the part that they're attached to. Oh, made a mistake. Let me go back and select them again. And you know I'm not a, I'm not a grand wizard of the actual uh, Max program. It just takes some practice. You notice that I, when I move you'll see that the cursor slightly changes a little bit. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to actually select that and move it over to and make it to this middle piece here. And I'm going to select the middle piece and do the same thing. I'm going to link it to this little hub here and then the hub to the actual gear. Okay. So now I'm ready to test the actual movement. So I'm going to use my transformations. Oh. Well, I notice that I don't want to transfer that way. The X, Y, and Z is not quite right. So if I change the pivot location to the parts local UCS, then I'm going to have the better transition here, a better way to spin it. So see that I move the bottom one, it moves all the way up to the top. So now what I want to do is I want to use keyframe animation. I'm going to turn on the auto key, move the slider all the way to the end, and then just kind of drag my mouse to 720, kind of two revolutions. And now I can take my little slider here and I can move it back and forth. You'll notice that it key creates two keyframes, the first one and the end. And so what I want to do now is I actually want to kind of play with the, the keyframes and make sure that that's where I want them. Now I'm going to go back and turn on some other geometry and so that we can do the rest of that, the rest of the razors. So here I've gone with a little help of the movie Magic here. I've gone ahead and sped up the animation creation part and now I'm ready to actually unhide all my geometry and then move that objects or these objects from an FBX file back into the actual showcase product so here I'm just going to go to export select the FBX option give this a name as well let's say export from Max or something like that uh, and then I'm going to actually use that information in the showcase product. I also have um, some user defined uh, options that I could use for exporting and you could save that so you don't have to repeat the, the same exporting options over and over again. Alright let's move over to showcase 
and here I'm just going to import that back in. I'm just going to say import the model data from the FBX file. So I'll go and choose my F FBX file and then I'll open it. And you're going to notice that you'll have a little animation checkbox and I want to make sure that it's on. And it's going to create some cameras that, it, that I had in Max. It's just using the view. And if I want to change the the actual frames per second I could as well. Now here's my geometry. I'm going to zoom up here and let's just change our environment real quick so it looks somewhat pleasing to the eye. There we go. And now let's hide these guards so we can actually see the actual animation. I'm just holding down control picking or shift and hold and picking those guards. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard, you'll notice that the behavior is in there. So I'm going to hit play and you'll actually see that animation up here. So that's how I bring a FBX from, uh, from Showcase to Max and back into Showcase. Now if you need uh, some other answer, questions answered, give me a shout. I have email address. Um, if you want to link to my uh, LinkedIn page, I'm more than happy to link with you. For other questions regarding Inventor and Showcase, give us a, give us a call here at Advanced Solutions. Um, you can talk to me directly if you wanted to. Thanks for watching.